Welcome to Ucanic. Today here on Ucanic we have a 2020 Buick Enclave. This has the 3.6 liter GM engine in it and it's a V6. So we have a check engine light on and we have a bunch of check engine codes and we're going to go over those and we are going to, uh, what they are and, and how to replace one. With our OBD2 scanner hooked up and the engine codes have been read, these are the main ones that we are looking at right now. And so we have a P0010, and that is the intake cam position actuator, solenoid valve in circuit in bank one. And then we have the P0013-00, and that is the exhaust cam position actuator, solenoid on the valve circuit of bank one. All right, and then in the, another one is the P020-00. We have the intake cam shaft position actuator, solenoid in bank two. And then we have the P0023-00, which is the exhaust camshaft position actuator solenoid valve control circuit in bank two. So that is all of the um, camshaft position sensor actuators uh, have been listed there. You have the two that are in the uh, bank one and two that are in bank two. So bank one is the uh, one closest to the firewall on this engine. Um, due to that this is cylinder number one and we know that by it, it is the furthest one out to the front of the engine and you'll see that it sits back a little bit on this one because of the v-shape so camshaft position sensor the actuators are these units here um, you've got one that's higher up and that would be for your intake side and your exhaust one is the one that is lower on that head on the side and so we have the one on the camshaft position actuators on bank two. This is your intake one and your exhaust one is down behind there. Both of these, for you to replace them, if you need to replace them for any reason, you will need to remove the motor mount and this bracket that is also bolted to the side of the motor to be able to get those out. Um, there's not enough clearance between those to get those out. But we have our bank one, bank two, and so the process to replace them is the same for all of them and just and they are all the same sensor, so, you know, intake, exhaust, they're the same sensor, just that they're in the different locations. So, we're gonna go over the process to replace the intake cam shaft position um, actuator on bank one, and bank two, they will be the same, and they're easy to do, and just show you the process of how it's done. So first, you would need to remove your air box, and so once the air box is out of the vehicle, then you have more space to be able to get down there to replace. So to start with, you will need to depress the clip to unlock it. And if it hasn't been depressed for a long time or ever, it can be kind of hard. All right, so we got that clip unconnected. And now we have a number 10 millimeter bolt that is up here to be able to undo and remove that and then we can pull out that camshaft position actuator. You may lose a little bit of oil when you replace these. All right, so we have the uh, 10 millimeter bolt out, and now just need to pull this sensor out. You have to apply a little bit of leverage just needed to break that that seal the oil seal and now we're able to remove our camshaft position actuator there unit okay. then when you're ready to install your new camshaft position sensor actuator just get a little bit of um, oil to go up on the top here as it slides through that seal um, to make it easier so we line it up and then just be able to press it in and then install the bolt. Now we're going to tighten it up. And that's how you would replace your camshaft position sensor actuator. Um, we do need to, of course, hook the electric back up. You would put the uh, air box back in and then be able to drive your vehicle. Clear the code out of your, with your code reader, out of the ECU, drive your vehicle, and, and make sure that it doesn't come back on uh, very shortly. 
If it does, then you may have some other deeper internal issues or some other issues that are causing those to come over. Thanks for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.